I'll be treating or solving this very question. We're asked to find the inverse Laplace of 3s plus 4 divided by s squared plus 9. Now, um, what is ideal for me to do is to try to see how to break this denominator down. But looking at this, there's no way you can express this in partial fraction. It's already in its simplest form. Now, see so what we're going to do here. Since this denominator cannot be factorized, this can actually become the inverse Laplace of, look at the numerator. Remember in, um, what's it called? In algebra, if you have a plus b over c, this can actually be rewritten as a over c plus b over c. can be written like that. So it means this expression here can be written as 3s over s squared plus 9 plus 4 over s squared plus 9. That's the meaning. We can write it like that. So this expression is actually correct for this. It's correct. Now the next thing I'll do is what? I'm going to separate this. So I'm going to um, distribute the inverse Laplace. So this will be the inverse Laplace of 3s divided by s squared plus 9 plus the inverse Laplace of 4 over s squared plus 9. Okay, so let us work out these individual inverses. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is this. Remember, this 3 you see here is actually a constant. So this is 3s. Now when I have s at this part, what does it signify? It signifies cos. It signifies cos. So right now, I'm going to say this is 3 first of all. So this is um, 3. I'm going to be writing this guy. So look at this. We have 3s here. This 9 is also what? 3 squared. So first of all, I can write this as 3 inverse of s divided by s squared plus, what is this 9 here? This 9 here is 3 squared. Close the bracket plus inverse Laplace of, now look at this very 4 guy, this very 4 that you're seeing here. You can still bring it out if you wish to. You can still do that. So um, let me just do it. So this is 4 inverse Laplace of the expression will then become what will be left here? 1 divided by what? S squared plus 9 is 3 squared. Okay. Now this is 3. S, whenever you have S on top, you are talking about cos. You are talking about cos. Now, this 3 squared signifies that my A is what? 3. So this is cos 3 t. That's cos 3 t. So this is correct. Plus 4. Now I think this part would pose a little bit of um, issue for us. Now, if you have a constant on top and not s, if you have a constant on top and not s, you're talking about sine. Now, the Laplace transform of sine a t is equal a over s squared plus a squared. Already, our a here is what? Theory. If you compare this, your a is what? Theory. But if this will be going by sign, this number on top, this one here, ought to also have what? The same a, which is what? 3. So the question you'll be asking yourself is, how can we put 3 to be at this very place? It's a very simple thing. Now, can somebody come here and say, this is the, okay, I'll write this as, I can put 3 here, all over 3, bracket s squared plus 3 squared. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that because 3 can cancel 3 to give me 1. So I didn't change anything. Nothing has been changed. Nothing has been changed. So I can just put 1 times 3. Nothing has been changed because 3 can cancel 3 at the end of the day. Okay. I'm looking at this. We've gotten this part already. So this is 3 cos 3t plus. Now look at this. This is 1 over 3. This 1 over 3 is a constant. Do you agree? With this 1 over 3 is a constant. When it comes aside, what would it become? So this is now 4 over 3. Inverse Laplace of what will be left here? 3 over s squared plus 3 squared. What is this looking like right now? It's now looking like sine a t. Because we have a number divided by s squared plus that number squared. So we have 3 over s squared plus 3 squared. Final answer for this is 3 cos 3t plus 4 all over 3 sine 
3t. So this will be the final answer to the question. Thank you very much for watching this video. Click on the next link. Thank you.